morning everyone, this week we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day, not slim and world edition, calorie counting edition. If you watched my previous videos, you know that I was following or trying to follow slim and world, but if you don't know me, hi, I'm Kiki and I change my mind every five minutes, so I changed my mind about that and I'm doing calorie counting now, which I've really enjoyed and I'm very surprised because if you saw, yeah, on a previous video I mentioned that calorie counting can make me feel a bit stressed about food and get quite obsessive over it but I've been enjoying it so far I see it more as a tool now and I just find it very interesting to see how many calories how much protein is in each meal I'm not all about the protein but I know protein is very important if you're trying to lose weight and it keeps you full so I do try I don't have a goal I just try to eat higher protein and just keep an eye on that try to keep to a certain calorie limit and again if I go over it I don't obsess over it I think even just the act of writing down or like I use my fitness pal uh, so like tracking everything it makes you more mindful of what you're eating and yeah so if you like these kinds of videos make sure you subscribe because I will be posting more I made an omelette with red pepper, courgette and egg whites. And eggs, of course. I started by chopping a bit of red pepper in small pieces and then I grated about a quarter of courgette. I then grabbed a nonstick pan and sprayed it with fry light. I added the veggies, seasoned with salt and pepper, and let them cook through. While they were cooking, I poured some egg whites in a bowl and also cracked two eggs. I seasoned with salt and pepper and whisked them well. When the veggies were fully cooked, I added them in the bowl with the eggs and then poured the mixture back in the pan. I also added a slice of Edam cheese for more flavor. I also like to lift the corners and let the egg mixture go to the bottom so it can cook through faster. Lastly, I chopped some baby tomatoes to add later on. I flipped my omelette and while it finished cooking, I grabbed a pita from my freezer and toasted it as I decided to have a little omelette sandwich. I cut my omelette in two pieces and then I was ready to fill my pita. I decided to add some ketchup and then I added the omelette, the tomatoes and some rocket as I love adding something green to every meal. I made myself a pita with omelette. I have another half an omelette that I might eat later today or after breakfast if that doesn't fill me up. It looks amazing. Mmm. Mmm. It's so amazing. So yummy. Oh. It's so good you need to make it. And I have a cup of tea. Yum. Yeah. So happy. So I've had my breakfast which was delicious. I think it's time to make a healthy treat for the week because you know me, I can't live without sweets. The recipe is by Chocolate Cover Katie and her recipes are always amazing. If you like healthy treats, definitely check her out. I've been making so many of her recipes and they don't fail. So yeah, let's make some healthy brownies. The secret ingredient. To start with, I rinsed two cans of black beans and then while they were draining, I grabbed the rest of my ingredients. Put the coconut oil in some boiling water in a cup so it can melt while I measure the rest of my ingredients but you can also melt it in a microwave or in a little pan. I then added all the ingredients to my blender and blended it for a few minutes. I 
I also push down the mixture to make sure it's all mixed well and then put it back in the blender to blend for a final time. And since I didn't have any chocolate chips, I chopped a bit of chocolate to add to my mixture. I poured it in a baking pan and baked it for around 18 minutes and my dessert slash healthy treat for the week was ready. This was so good and I made a double portion so they came out extra fudgy and thick. So decadent, you have to try them. For lunch, I started by boiling some potatoes so I can make a mash. I then grabbed a non-stick wok and added a few chicken breasts and seasoned with salt and pepper. I also like to cut the chicken across to make sure it cooks through evenly. For the chorizo sauce, I grabbed a red pepper, an onion and a few garlic cloves. I chopped the pepper in small pieces and added them to a bowl. I then chopped the onion in small pieces as well and crushed a few garlic cloves. To a small pan I added the onion and let it cook through. I also decided to add some baby tomatoes so I chopped a few too. I also added a bit of oil for the onion to caramelize. I then added the chorizo, tomato and peppers and let the veggies cook. I also flip the chicken regularly to make sure it cooks well on both sides. Once the potatoes were cooked, I drained them and then added a bit of skimmed milk in my pan and added the potatoes back in. I seasoned with salt and pepper and used my masher to mash the potatoes. Once the chicken was cooked, I was ready to serve. So I added some rocket to my plate and dressed it with olive oil, vinegar and a bit of salt. I then added the mashed potato and topped with the chicken breast. Lastly, I served the chorizo sauce on top and lunch was ready. How amazing does it look? So I made this delicious looking chicken with chorizo and peppers. Let's try. It looks, honestly, it looks amazing. I mean, to me at least. Mmm. 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 It's so amazing. And it goes so well with the mash. Mashed potato is my least favorite kind of potato, but sometimes just works so well. This is amazing. Anything that you put chorizo in. How do you say chorizo, by the way? You say chorizo, chorizo, chorizo? Let me know. I mean, I won't say chorizo because it sounds pretentious if I say it, but. Mmm, it's so good. I can't believe I made this. It feels like restaurant meal. And it's delicious. Make it. For my afternoon snack, I had some raspberries and a slice of my brownies, as I love the chocolate raspberry combo. Oh, and before my workout, I also had a banana. For dinner, I made a couple of wraps with some leftover tofu. I served two wraps on my bowl and then added the tofu. 
are then topped with rocket, as we know by now, I love it, and some baby tomatoes. I also grated a carrot and added that on top too. Lastly, I added some of this perinase for some spice and extra flavor. I love a simple and fast dinner, especially when I've done a lot of cooking during the day. And I also find that having my lunch as my main meal keeps me more satisfied during the day and I don't get to the end of the day absolutely starving. So I just made my dinner, which is two of these gluten-free, low-calorie wraps with some meal prep tofu. I usually make the tofu with nutritional yeast, tamari, curry powder, and just bake it in the oven so I had some leftover. And then I just put some veg as well. And the best thing, this perinades, which makes everything taste amazing. So today I've had 1,900 calories. My goal is around 1,800, so I did go a bit above, but it's fine some days. Yeah, that happens, so it's okay. And then if you're interested in my protein, carbs and fat, I had 160 grams of protein, which is amazing because I'm trying to eat more high protein. 193 grams of carbs and 58 grams of fat. So yeah, as I said, uh, I'm only looking at the protein, just to make sure that I have enough because that keeps me full for longer. Yeah, it was a delicious day. And let's try this gonna be messy. These wraps are good but they do fall apart because they're gluten free. If you enjoyed this video make sure you click like and subscribe. I will be posting more calorie counting what I eat in a day. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching by the way.